Next up, it's an episode of Brutal Foods. But first, a brand new Gamer Guy review. I love video games. I once traded a human child for a copy of Star Fox 64, and I'd do it again even for a much worse game and with a way less shitty kid. Today's game for review is Pajama Sam 4, the fourth game in the four game series of Pajama Sam games. When I was a child, I played these games all the time and I loved them a lot. Now I'm 30 years old and I'm exploiting as many of my precious childhood memories as I can. Cause if the ads don't play, well then I get no pay. And guys, I, I kinda need to pay my bills at some point. My accounts are empty, my credit cards are maxed, GoFundMe banned my account because I was cyberbullying the other charities. My children won't even look at me anymore. That's why I gave one of them away, actually. Kid was a real dick. The first three Pajama Sam games are edutainment classics. They're colorful, fully animated adventure games that any computer-obsessed kid or lonely, nostalgic adult can play through and enjoy. The level of care and detail in these adventure games are unmatched, but by the time the fourth game came around, the company behind it, Humongous Entertainment, had lost its founders and 20 other talented employees. And although the new team did their best to emulate the magic of the original trilogy, We clothes get very sad when we're not in pairs. Hats don't come in pairs. That's why you never see a happy hat. Oh. You know, sometimes we fail. Sometimes we put our heart and soul into something and despite our best efforts, everything crumbles down around us and life is never quite the same because for the rest of our days, we know that the life that we loved is now trapped beneath the unbelievable weight of failure. Now let's talk about the story. Pajama Man! Pajama Man! Gee, that was an exciting episode. Sam is eager to visit Pajama Man at his local shopping mall so that he can get his first edition Pajama Man comic book autographed by the superhero that he is constantly ripping off. He's looking around the room for his comic book, his eyebrows are fucking insane, and then he dives into a pile of clutter only to fall down into the abyss and is transported to a land of make-believe. Ta-da! Ta-da! Once there, he determines that his beloved comic book is located in the Grubby Corner Mall. Rules strictly enforced. No shirt, no shoes, no socks, no service. Got it? No shirt. To meet the dress code and successfully enter the mall, however, Sam has to retrieve a shirt, a pair of socks, and a pair of shoes. Pants, unimportant. Feel free to just whip it out at the Grubby Corner Mall. You know, one time I whipped it out at the mall and it was not appreciated. People were very unsettled, actually. Ah, oh, the peanut, the misunderstood nut. Speaking of misunderstood nuts, one of Sam's early friends in this game is a dirty sock who's getting harassed for being all on his lonesome. They say there's no place for me amongst the clean because I'm dirty. I know none of them can see inside. Having a little dirt on you is not such a bad thing. Yes, it is. Take a shower, you disgusting freak. We're all pairs. We're all pairs. We'll always be together. You're all alone. It's strange to see. We guess you must deserve to be. So this song is all about how if you're alone, people that aren't alone will judge you and they're gonna think you're a freak of nature, which I think is a great lesson for kids to learn early. If anything, I think Humongous Entertainment should have focused more often on the harsh realities of life. Putt-Putt could accidentally back over Pep? What if Freddy Fish encountered an oil spill? Spy Fox could fall victim to the fur trapping industry? And Pajama Sam, well, he can die alone. Wow, I can go meet Pajama Man and get his autograph. Oh boy. But let me ask you a question. How important do you think the quality of voice actors is in a fully voice acted game? Sam, will you be my friend? It's very lonely being the only sock without a companion. 
Like if you were making a fully voice acted game, would you employ actual voice actors? The Book of Clues. If secret doors you would go through, you must push in only blue. Or would you just stick the mic in front of the first person you saw? But if I'm gonna meet Pajama Man, I've gotta have just the right thing for him to sign. Ooh! Even the character design is just sad sometimes. I mean, this guy is literally just a green rectangle. Oh, and you'll never guess what her name is? I'll give you a hint. She's not only a grandma, but she's also a sweater. Why, what a nice young man you are. I'm Grandma Sweater. And then, of course, there's the sponge. Hey, there's a sponge. You sure look squishy. That's because I'm a sponge. I don't much care for the sponge. I'm Pajama Sam. And I'm a sponge. I'm a sponge. But the music in Pajama Sam 4 is pretty great. That's probably my favorite part, possibly my only compliment. Hey everybody, it's me, Pajama Sam. Really hope you're enjoying this review of my classic computer game, Pajama Sam 4, Life is Rough When You Lose Your Stuff. This slanderous little dillweed is really giving me the business, in my opinion. You know, it might not be the best game ever made, but what have you ever done in your life, huh? I provided edutainment to millions of children over the years, and you're just sitting there watching video game reviews, judging everybody else's hard work. As a matter of fact, now that I think about it, you kind of make me sick. You make me very sick. So sick, in fact, that I'd love to tell you about my brand new computer game, Pajama Sam 5. When you have no friends, it's a sad, lonely inn. 20 years after the events of Pajama Sam 4, and the world is in chaos. Pajama Man is dead. Putt-Putt is dead. Food is scarce, and the children just won't stop crying. There's only one boy who can save the world, and that handsome young man is Pajama Sam. He's 26 years old, he recently obtained his GED, and he loves the ladies. Help Sam as he tries to save the world, all while trying to succeed in the world of love, in this gritty conclusion to the Pajama Sam franchise. Order today and you'll receive this limited edition Pajama Sam breathalyzer, so you can be just like Sam and only hit the streets when you're below the legal limit. This special offer is brought to you by the oddly specific court-ordered ruling that stems from my own, um, DUI issues. People keep telling me, Sam, put on some real clothes. Sam! Take off your pajamas, you're almost 30 years old. But if anyone so much as touches my jammies, I will kick them right in the neck. <laughs> as I was saying, aside from the music, I have a hard time finding many positives of Pajama Sam 4. It's an okay game, all things considered, but compared to the previous three, it feels but a cheap imitation. I'm coming up in the world. Hope mom doesn't catch me climbing on the furniture. Even the art looks off, like someone is tracing over the previous games in an effort to fool me, but I'm no fool. I'm just a guy trying to make a living reviewing games and offloading unwieldy children. Most unforgivable is the fact that the game doesn't even run well. I mean, this isn't Crisis here, this is Pajama Sam. It should be running just fine on my souped up PC. But the animations are janky, the lip flap is so bad that characters often don't even look like they're actually speaking. Some days it rains, them days is nice too. I have to put on my wrapper then, but rain is nice. Rain's good for my crops. The most annoying of all is the fact that Sam freezes in place during every scene transition. In an adventure game like this, you're constantly moving between screens, so the clunky transitions are a pretty constant annoyance. The game also feels very short with limited diversions. I'm pretty sure the only area that you're able to unlock is the Grubby Corners Mall, and once you collect the clothing items, Sam walks in and the game pretty rapidly concludes. Holy cow! 
How did I get so dirty today? On top of the short length, and unlike the previous three games, there are no randomized elements, which means that every single playthrough is exactly the same. Well, I learned one thing. From now on, I'm going to keep my room more picked up so I won't lose anything else this important. And if I do, it will sure be easier to find it. A decent edutainment game, perhaps, but a pretty lackluster Pajama Sam game. I give Pajama Sam 4 a D, a disappointing end to an incredible franchise. I'd recommend it to parents of mediocre children who deserve to be rewarded with a good computer game, but not a great computer game. This video is sponsored by HelloFresh. This video is sponsored by HelloFresh. This video is sponsored, sponsored by HelloFresh. Hello 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 Fresh. Fresh. Did you guys know that HelloFresh is delicious? It's the number one meal kit in America for a reason, you know. Teehee. In fact, I'd eat it every day if I could. If only mother would let me. Did you make a New Year's resolution to eat healthier this year? Still struggling with cooking meals at home, huh? Well, HelloFresh can help you reach those goals with their delicious and healthy recipes. In fact, HelloFresh is guaranteed to help you achieve your dream, as long as that dream is getting a delicious box of HelloFresh delivered right to your door each and every week. The people at HelloFresh are well aware that our time on this earth is limited and that we're all slowly marching to the grave, which is why they don't want you to waste any more of your precious time with menu planning and grocery shopping. Stop struggling so much, friend. HelloFresh is here. To start your HelloFresh journey, go to HelloFresh.com and use code BRUTALMOOSE16 for up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. That's HelloFresh.com, code BRUTALMOOSE16 for up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts.